Hi and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm playing with the Folded Lace Spellbinders uh, Cut, Fold and Tuck dies and I'll be creating a Christmas card. The Folded Lace Cut, Fold and Tuck by Spellbinders a paper piercer, some wax paper, some foam adhesives. Our card base is a vanilla cardstock that measures 5 by 10 and I have folded that in half at the 5 inch mark. A second piece of vanilla cardstock that measures about 4 by 4. Two pieces of pattern paper. The first one is a 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. This one is 2 by 2. And both of these pieces come from the SEI collection called Entrada and the particular pattern paper is Orinoco Delta. And of course you're going to need your die cutting system. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a window in the card. Um, so this is the card base which I folded in half. It just makes it easier to uh, line up the die. And we're going to take that die here which is the largest one uh, from the set and I'm going to wedge a piece of wax paper underneath and that's just going to um, help the little pieces slide off the die once we're done cutting. Hold it in place with some washi tape. Of course, if you have a, one of the, if you're one of the lucky people and you have a magnetic uh, cutting plate for these dies, uh, it's wonderful. I happen to not have one on hand, <laughs> so I'm going to use washi tape. All right, and my piece of wax paper is just too large. I'm just going to remove the excess like that. And so I will cut and I will also emboss. And for this you need to refer to the insert um, of the Spellbinder dies. It will give you the recipe to emboss, uh, to cut and emboss. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and I will show you what it looks like. So after I've actually embossed this is what it looks like. Now this piece here you can keep for another project but I'm not going to use it today. So if we turn this over see how easy this thing comes off when I have a piece of wax paper. What's giving me trouble right now is the washi tape <laughs> because I don't want to ruin my card. I'll be very gentle. So here's a detail of the window and look how gorgeous it embossed and cut. Very beautiful, very intricate. The next thing we need to do is cut this, the larger piece of pattern paper and this is the good side that I want to use. And this is the easiest way that I found how to center it properly. I'm going to flip the card over so the inside is facing me and then I'm going to also flip this piece of paper over so that the bad part, uh, the bad side is facing me and then I'm going to center this piece leaving a nice even border all around. Hold it in place, flip it over, place the piece of wax paper that just slightly than the actual die and I'll be using this die right here. Put it face down with the cut side face down and center it within the window. Then I want to remove the card base while holding everything in place. And then I will secure the die on everything and run this through my machine. Alright, so you're not seeing the pieces right now. They will be revealed once I start folding. And let me zoom in. So, um, again, it's tough for you to see. But um, here's an example that I was doing on a, a scrap piece of uh, paper and this is what it's going to look like once it's folded. So we have some cuts that are not cutting all the way through and we just need to fold back and tuck. Now there is no science to this, you just need to fold back and then tuck next to the element that's right below it. So I work towards me. Uh, it's just easier for me to, to do that. 
So again, fold. If you want to do all of your folds and then tuck, you can, by all means you can do that. Um, I'm just used to doing this as I go along. And just be gentle when you fold back. Um, you need to um, make sure that you don't tear any of the pieces. But if you take your time and you're gentle with your folding, and there won't be any problem. Okay, so I'm down to the last piece and all I need to do is stuck, like the others, this uh, folded piece right underneath the next part here. So let's see what it would look like when we put it inside our frame here, or inside the card. <gasps> look how gorgeous that is. Now this is only the beginning, we're going to build up on that. So I'm going to put those two pieces aside, I'm not going to glue anything down for now. I'm going to work on the next piece and for this you're going to need your 4x4 um, vanilla cardstock and this die right here. And this one doesn't need to be centered actually, it's just uh, it's going to cut all the way through so I don't really need to center anything. So I have my piece of uh, wax paper that I used for the first piece, I'm just going to sandwich that and I'll be cutting this and I'll be right back. Okay. Now for these more um, intricate pieces, you might need to poke your piece out with the paper piercer, but it should easily come out once you've done, once you've gone through a couple of holes here. Because we're using wax paper, there's no problem. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna poke all these little uh, pieces and you actually don't need the middle. The middle pops out in um, in two parts. I'm not going to use the middle. So I'm just going to poke at these little pieces and I'll be right back. And the die should look like this. And now I'm going to tuck and fold the same way I did uh, for the other piece. So I'm going to start here towards the center. Here you go. So there's the first one, and then I'm going to work my way up. how beautiful this piece is. Oh, love it so much. And we're going to um, assemble this that way on top of that beautiful piece that we have here. So the last piece I want to cut is with this die on the 2x2 two two pattern paper. This time I'm going to choose this side as my good uh, side or my good pattern. So I'm going to place the die cutting side face down on the good side. Actually I want to sandwich um, some wax paper as well. Let me just remove the excess. So I'm going to put that there and it doesn't matter if it's uh, centered or not because um, we just want it's going to cut all the way through. There's the piece. Now this one I'm going to have to poke through the little holes just to get it started. But it should come off fairly easily.
There we go. And now all I need to do is get rid of the little pieces. And this one here. And there we go. Now the rest is all about folding, and which I'm going to do very quickly. So beautiful. Love that paper too. I love the the uh, metallic or the foil on that paper. Okay, so if I bring back all of my elements, I'm going to start by gluing this piece against the card front. And if I have aligned everything properly, here I'm going to use this. It'll be easier to align. So if I've aligned this very the right way, I should have a nice centered piece. Gorgeous. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to put the dimensionals directly on the card base. Keep in mind that there is a border all around, so make sure that um, you don't put any adhesive at the corners. And now I can center this. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, love it. All right, and it doesn't interfere with the um, with the closing of the card. It's fine. Okay, the next piece is this one, and I'm gonna make sure that all my pieces are well and tucked in, and I'm going to take some foam adhesive. I might have to cut some of them down, just because it's a little big. Now, Yeah, that's fine. So I can put four here in the center. Okay. So this piece is in place. And the last one here. Okay, so for this piece, I put two layers of foam adhesive in the center because we have a hole here and we've already got one row of foam adhesives and for the rest I just put a single layer. I cut my pieces down <clears throat> because there's not a lot of space between the folds. All right, I'm going to put it like that. Make sure that Everything is centered. There we go. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Okay, we're not done. We need to add the finishing touches. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding some touches of the Rouge Liquid Pearls uh, to make this sort of like a Christmas card. So I'm going to add a few touches of the pearls. Oops. on our centerpiece right here. There we go. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'm gonna let my liquid pearls dry before I wreck everything and I will be right back. So here's the card and the liquid pearls are dry now. It really looks beautiful. Love the way it turned out. And when I open the card, I uh, can see the back of that piece that we that I've added and it's it says pretty on the on the reverse side. So let me show you another one that I made using a different dye but kind of like in the same um, 
collection. This is uh, another cut, fold, and tuck by Spellbinders. This one is called Whirl, Whirl About. And here's the card I created. This one was a little more simpler to make, but nevertheless, I think it looks stunning. These cards are, um, they look very intricate. They don't take that much time to uh, put together, but they're just absolutely stunning. Uh, for this one, I use two different um, pattern paper, and then uh, I have just a plain card base, and then I added a bow on top. Kind of, it kind of looks like an ornament, but um, it could be a Christmas card if you want it to be, but I think it's an all-location card. Oh, come on. Now obviously with these dies, there's a whole bunch of combinations that um, you can do. Uh, these are just two examples, but there's so much more that you can do with these dies. They're just amazing, and I suggest that you come into the store and take a look at them. As usual, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will be back on Friday.